Our next topic is, is indices. Um, indices actually, actually has to do with laws, that is, there are laws guiding what is being done. So we can just say that um, and the first law is x raised to power a times x raised to power b, which is equal to a, x, which is equal to x raised to power a plus b. The second law is x raised to power a divided by x raised to power b, which is equal to x raised to power a minus b. The third law is x raised to power 0, which is equal to 1. The fourth one is x raised to power minus a. That one is equal to 1 all over x raised to power a. The fifth one is also do with brackets, that is, into, we'll open our bracket, x raised to power a, we'll close the bracket, everything raised to power b, which is the same thing as x raised to power a times b, that is, x raised to power a, b. The sixth law is x raised to power 1, x raised to power 1 over a, which is the same thing as the a into a, well, it's not square root, but a root x, that is, we have something like this, we sell um, x raised to power 1 over a, this a will be outside the root of x. Then, number 7, we have x raised to power a all over b, which is equal to b, uh, b root x raised to power a, or into bracket b root x, everything raised to power a. That is, when we have something like a over b, x raised to power a all over b, we'll be having something like this. This b like this one will be our root of x mm -hmm. then everything we are having raised to power a where x in all cases is not equal to zero that is x is not equal to zero we'll treat some examples to explain all this further and uh, the first example we are having here is based on the law the first law of indices, and that's our uh, area of our, our a, one a, that's a raised to power 3 times a raised to power 9, and then we have b, that's a uh, 5y times 4y raised to power 4. So, for our a, a raised to power 3 times a raised to power 9, the same thing as a raised to power 3 plus 9, which is equal to a 3 plus 9 is 12, which is the final answer for 1a for b. If you're having something like this, that will be 5y times 4y raised to power 4. This is the same thing as 5 times 4 times y raised to power 1. This one is raised to power 1. Plus, once you are multiplying, you have plus 4. So now we are having 5 times 4 is 20. 1 plus 4 is 5. Y raised to power 1, Y raised to power 5, which is our final answer for examples for the first law of indices. The second law of indices will be taking examples of that. We have our one uh, two a as um, two a as m raised to power eight divided by m raised to power five, and then our b that is uh, twenty four x twenty four x raised to power six divided by eight x raised to power four. For our a, we'll be having something like this m raised to power 8 divided by m raised to power 5 which is equal to when we are multiplying we have the powers but when we are now dividing we subtract the powers that will be m raised to power 8 minus 5 which is equal to m raised to power 3 
Now for our B, that will be 24x raised to power 6 divided by 8x raised to power 4, which is equal to 24 divided by 8, that's 3. Then this x we are dividing, that will be subtraction x raised to power 6 minus 4 which is equal to 3x raised to power 2 which is our final answer um, the next question is based on the third law of indices and that's anything raised to power 0 which is equal to 1 so um, what we are having here is 2 raised to power 0 by example 3 that's 2 raised to power 0 which is just equals to 1 and that's the final answer there's nothing there's no magic about it but for a for a that's 3x all to the power of minus 3 then we have b which is a uh, 5x squared times 4x raised to power 0 times 2x raised to power minus 6 now we're taking this one after the other. Based on the fourth law, anything raised to power minus three. Once there's this minus there, it's, it indicates inverse. That is one all over everything that we are having here to the power of this of the number. So what we'll be having for our a is something like this. That will be three x raised to power minus three is equal to one all over. 3x raised to the power 3. This minus implies inverse, that is 1 all over everything, which is equal to 1 all over 3 raised to the power 3 times x raised to the power 3, which is equal to 1 all over 9x cubed. Now for the b parts, um, We are having 5x squared, 5x squared times 4x raised to the power 0 times 2x raised to the power minus 6. What we are dealing with here, our point of interest is this minus, which means inverse. So we are having 5x squared, anything raised to the power 0 from our third law, that is a 1 times 4 times 1 times 1 this minus give us this 1 all over 2x raised to power 6 so what we are having here will now be something like this if we should divide and then this x um, x raised to power 6 we can still uh, C implies minus, and uh, we'll just continue like this. It will be 5x squared. These two, let's deal with these two. We'll be having that will be times 2 times 1 all over x raised to power 6. We can now bring it back so that we can have um, something that's even. That will be 5x squared times 2 times x is to the power minus 6. Let us deal with this minus so we will have everything at once. That will be 5, 2 minus 6. That will be, you are having 2 naira and you are owing 6 naira. That means if you pay, you are still owing 4 naira. That will be 2 minus 6 times 2. That will be 10 x is to the power minus 4. 5 times 2, that's 10 which is the same thing as 10 raised to power x raised to power 4. Example number 5. That's based on the fifth law of indices. We have 5x 
5e, 3m raised to the power 4, everything all squared. Everything into bracket. That is, this power affects this 3 and it affects this m raised to the power 4. Then b, we have uh, that's minus u cube. Then we have v squared, everything raised to the power 4. Then we have c, which is minus 4 u raised to the power 2 v, everything raised to the power 3. So we now solve it one after the other. 3m raised to the power 4 all squared. The same thing as 3 squared times n. Here, we'll be multiplying this. This power, this power of 4 squared will be n 4 times 2. 4 times 2. So we'll be having 3 squared is 9. m raised to power 8. Then for b, that will be minus u cube hmm, v squared everything raised to power 4 the other time I actually did something about minus times uh, minus now um, I would do so what we are now